Yo, what's good with y'all, man? Only truth here. No more tricks, no more lies, only truth. And today I'm going to really live up to it. Just had a random thought, as usual. I was thinking about a rap song, so I'm going to tell the Black Pill truth on um, J. Cole, in a way. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. <laughs> yeah. No such thing as life. It's true. But I'll get to that. So if you even watching this, I hope that you have at least an inkling of an idea that the life you live is it's kind of similar to a dream if you if you've ever thought about it. Because when you go to sleep every night, it's like a a fake death, you could say. And then you in this world that feels so real and you wake up. And then and then at that moment, you will say that that world was fake because you woke up from it, you out of it. Right. So the whole no such thing as a life that's better than yours. It is true. And in a weird way, in kind of uh, uh, like a twisted joke type of way, life does show you this. But. I will, I can't sit up and say that better, better is the truth because it's no such thing as a life that's better than yours since you already know or we already know how it ends. Automatically, just because you know that you die or the people around you die, that automatically shows you it's not better than yours because you know how it's going to end, bro. It's, it's no bragging rights at the end of it, necessarily. But there is a such thing as a life that's more fulfilling than yours. This is where people talked about social media's effects, how you'll see all the highlights in a person's life and they eating at all these restaurants and it's more fulfilling. By more fulfilling, though, if you think about the way the world works, and you got people that get famous off taking a good mugshot photo, become a, a model, get put in movies for it. And you'll see someone else that's struggling on the street or getting made fun of because they're ugly. These types of things. So it's a more fulfilling life in, in a sense of people validating that person. You just feel more desired. It's, you feel more full, I guess. <laughs> like, like damn well was camping him. it gives you a false sense. Where's well, a real sense of achievement? You're being validated by all of these people. So in a way, you have these cheerleaders. Kind of, it kind of pushes you to keep going. Like, damn, I'm really that nigga. I'm really that dude or I'm really that bitch. That type of mentality, right? It feels more fulfilling, even though you know you're going to die. So it's not better than this person that you may look down on, but it's just more fulfilling. The best example I got is, let's say we have two people that's super hungry, right? Super hungry. And I feed this one person some checkers fries and it satiates their hunger. But I take this other person to Ruth's Chris or some Michelin star restaurant and they have a $600 meal full course and they get full off. it. They both will feel fulfilled. I don't know about the fries, dude. You just eating fries. I'm pretty sure you know that's bullshit. But either way, both of them got their hunger satisfied. But this other person had a more fulfilling experience they they got wine and dine it made them feel important it stroked their ego a lot and if you tie this into a dream you're having a dream where you're eating at this fine restaurant you got all the bells and whistles they coming out with a sign and shit with your name on it for the food and then you have this other dream where you just had somebody feed your ass some checkers fries. Come on now. Be real with yourself. Which one would you want to wake up from? 
<laughs> I don't even want to give you a nightmare scenario where you in a concentration camp and motherfuckers ain't feeding you shit. So you're going to wake up out of that real quick. That's a nightmare. This, These are the things in life that it's so weird because it's almost like people reading off a script when they around you. This is where when a person call you real or something like that, it's kind of showing that you actually, you're not just saying what you're supposed to say. You're not saying how it should be. You're not trying to be all love and light. You truly are just saying it how it is. And that gets a lot of respect out of people. But, damn, I'm, I'm veering off a little bit, man. But back to the whole thing. They had a more fulfilling meal. You would want to be in that dream. Because that shit... It, it's just dope. It's like, damn, I'm I'm up for real. And this other one where dude just eating fries or he in a concentration camp, he like, man, when the fuck I wake up from this shit, bro? That is what's more fulfilling. And damn, to go even deeper with it, have you ever thought about eating? So did both of these people, they got fed, but another little thing, like life is... Just joking, like fucking with you. What are they doing? You take a what shit. <laughs> so whenever you eat, you know you're gonna take a shit. And the same way with life, you know you're gonna die. So it's showing you, it's so fucking clever, bro. It's like it's woven into things. Both of those people ate food, satiated their hunger. One of them felt more important, got their ego stroked more, had more cheerleaders. So it was more fulfilling to them and their ego. And this other person ate the food, little fries that were given to them. But in about eight hours or so, they both going to take a shit and it's done. So nobody was better because it was nothing to truly brag about. We all know how it was going to end. And that's the way life is. It shows you this. So... No one's life is better than yours, but that shit can be more fulfilling, bro. It's just a thing. And I hope you can acknowledge this truth. If you even found this video, because I, I haven't even been sharing my videos to Facebook anymore, because I, I don't want to put this on people. They'll find it. And... It might be good for their mental health or it might be refreshing for them to hear that if you do wonder about these types of things, you're not alone. You're not a fucking idiot because you're not just super positive all the time. People might think you're cynical. No, you're just seeing things the way they are. And you're not lying to yourself, man. It's, it's so many things propped up online to oneself. Best I can say, man, stay strong. Um, focus on things you can control, but don't let people gaslight you over things you couldn't control. Even circumstances. People tend to overlook that. I don't even look at my successes the same way anymore because I see, it's like I can see how stuff could have been scripted, bro. Damn. <laughs> It make you wonder about that God figure or that concept of it. I'm going to stop okay, it buddy. there, man. <laughs> it's crazy. The usual, though. Hours, no more dude. tricks. No more lies. Only truth. Y'all leave y'all comments, yeah, thoughts. It, I can probably run with some if y'all got some good topics. I'm more proud of me.